Joining me on Fan TV after a 5 0 home victory against the Milton Keynes Thunder, I've got uh, Fan Force Player of the Month, Nathan Pollard, Scott Robson. Scott, good performance, uh, professional display. Um, I, I would have thought, though Slava's not here, it would be just what he would have expected from the team. Uh, yeah, we, I mean, we had a job to do tonight, and it's, uh, it's a big weekend for us to bounce back after the past couple of weeks. Um, I thought it was a professional job tonight. Maybe we could have uh, tightened up defensively a little bit, but. Everyone uh, battled through and Marzi stood on his head when we needed to and it's just a good overall performance in the end. Uh, Nathan, I thought that uh, the, the lads played with a bit of freedom in the first couple of, pe couple of periods really. There was some nice moves, some good, good. Uh, certainly from the top line, there was uh, the, the production came from them and you must be pleased with the amount of time you got yourself and a couple of chances just went begging. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was good tonight, a lot of freedom like you said and I, I think sometimes we were a bit too open, I think sometimes it, we caught an odd man rush but Marzi played really well but we were confident tonight, we were quite good on the puck and I think going forward into tomorrow's game that's only going to put us in good stead. These games are banana skins in a way, uh, people would come in, in anticipation, it was a great performance here against London last Sunday and people come tonight expecting us to win and expecting us to win tomorrow night but over the last couple of seasons the odd point goes amiss and uh, I think the, the, the top of the league is so tight we can't afford for that to be the case Scott. Yeah, I mean, I've, when we're sitting top of the league, we're going to have teams come into our barn and work hard and want to put us under pressure a little bit. Um, but it's it's down to us, it's down to the guys in the room that no matter who we play against, if we battle for 60 minutes and work hard, we're going to get a result. A couple of things before we wind up. Uh, I'm sure you were surprised, but it's a, a real kind of honour in front of the crowd to get awarded a Player of the Month trophy. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. I thought it was a really good December for us, winning the trophy, and I think we had some good wins in there. And it's nice to be recognised, but sort of the whole team has been unbelievable in December. Uh, and Scott, we want to come to you because every time we do the commentary, we we know that you're a, a D man, but we always talk on the commentary about whether you go to bed at night dreaming of being a forward because you really do play as advanced as anyone. I, I wonder whether you, you secretly have that, that kind of little word with the, the staff here going, you know, you want to play up front. I mean, me and Slav have a few chats. He doesn't let me play forward, but I mean, I don't go forward all the time. It just happens to be an opportunity there, but it comes from having a high guy in, in the offensive zone that makes me jump. But I mean, the way we play defensively, we all skate, we all move the puck, and there's a lot of D this year. I think Polly would agree with me that joins the play and makes things happen. But I mean, I'm just trying to copy my uh, idol picker. Picker's like, Picker used to do that back in the day, so I'm just trying to embolize what he does. Uh, well, we, we, we're all looking to Picker to, to do that. Uh, guys, thanks for joining us. It's nice to see people in, looking like they're enjoying the hockey and, and, uh, and that, that kind of passes from all the players into the barn and, and the, the staff as well. So uh, uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah. We'll see you uh, next week. Yeah. Streatham at home. Yeah. Yeah. See you next time. Yeah.